Hello everyone, I am Deepak from Udan class 10. Today I will be discussing on the SSLC model question paper 2020-23. The subject is Mathematics English Medium. This paper is issued by Karnataka School Examination and Assessment Board KSEAP. Okay, and this is the most expected paper for your upcoming board examination march april 2023 and you should know that this question paper consists of objective and subjective question types of 38 questions okay in this you will be having objective and subjective type question and this is part one of our discussion in this part i will be discussing the objectives and one mark questions in subsequent parts i will be discussing two marks three marks four and five mark questions let us begin our discussion okay here the question number one you can read is see these are the objective questions eight questions of one mark each and you should and while writing the answer in your answer sheets you should be writing the alphabet along with the correct answer see choose the correct alternative and write the complete answer along with its letter of alphabet okay if you just miss one of this then you will be uh, getting zero marks okay we should be able to write alphabet along with the correct answer okay so the question number one here is if the nth term okay if the nth term of an ap that is arithmetic progression is an is equal to 3n plus 1 then the fourth term of the progression already they have given ap here that is an is already being given so an is given as 3n plus 1 and they are asking you the fourth term fourth term is nothing but a4 and in place of n you are writing 4 here also you should in the place of n you write 4 okay so what is the answer here 4 threes are 12 12 plus 1 will give you 13 so the fourth term in this case is 13 so the correct answer here in this case will be option b okay i hope you are getting this i'll move on to question number two and question number two uh, reads uh, like this okay see in question number two the rational number having a non-terminating and repeating decimal expansion in the following is you should tell the correct answer here which is non-terminating and repeating that means the denominator if it is in the form of 2 raised to n and 5 raised to m yeah, then it is what it is terminating that means it will stop it is terminate okay but they are asking non-terminating if denominator should should have 2 raised to m or 5 raised to n, then it is so in the first option you can see it is 5 it is having 5 then it is terminating yes and second option you can see it is also having 2 and 5 but the third option you can see you are having 7 here should not come so that non terminating in this case will be option c so the correct answer in this case will be option c is the right answer okay i'll just move on to question number 3 see question number 3 here in a class the number of boys the alphabet you should take here is x the letter x is more than number of girls that is y so x whenever is comes you should remember is nothing but is equal to you should put equal to sign that means the number of boys x is nothing but equal to 5 more than more means what plus so 5 more than number of girls are y so just transfer y here letters on one side x minus y equal to 5 and which option matches the option a matches with the the correct answer that is option a is the right one now we'll move on to question number four and the question number four reads like this the quadratic polynomial whose sum so the first one it is given has sum so sum means what the let alpha and beta be the zeros of polynomial so alpha plus beta sum sum means you are adding it is four and you are given alpha beta that is product is alpha beta that is alpha beta is 5 you know already the quadratic formula that is yes the quadratic formula is x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is a quadratic formula okay so here x square minus alpha plus beta is 4x 
alpha beta is 5 the, the which option will give you x square minus 4x plus 5 it is option D so the correct answer in this case will be option D is the right answer I hope you are getting this if you are getting kindly like subscribe and share okay so I will move on to question number 5 the question number 5 is the coordinates of midpoint so whenever you get the midpoint you should know the midpoint formula okay so I will just write it down midpoint formula and you know what is midpoint formula p of x comma y is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 y1 plus y2 by 2 this may be asked for the one mark question also you should be able to remember this okay now what is x1 here the coordinates they have given 4 this is x1 3 is y1 2 is x2 1 is y2 so x1 is 4 plus 2 by 2 comma y1 is 3 3 plus y2 is 1 by 2 so now 4 plus 2 is how much 4 plus 2 is 6 by 2 and 4 by 2 just if you cancel 2 ones are 2 3 is a 2 ones are 2 2 is a the correct answer is 3 comma 2 so correct option will be C in this case C will be the right answer which gives you the correct answer I hope you are getting this I will move on to question number yes sorry I will move on to the question number uh, 8 okay so just see we have completed up to question number 5 here okay so I will move on to next is question number 6 is here okay so question number 6 is related to triangles okay question number 6 is related to triangles and they have given the two triangles that is triangle ABC is similar you know that if two triangles are similar corresponding sides are in proportion can I write AB by by using similarity criterion AB by DE is equal to uh, BC by EF okay AB is already known 3 D also is given 4.5 BC is 4 you should find EF they are asking to find the measure of EF okay now just 3 1s are 3 1s are 3 3 5s are 15 now cross multiply 1 into EF will be EF this one will it will move up and this 1.5 will go beside so cross multiply EF 1s are EF 1.5 into 4 so 15 4s are 61 decimal point you go back so you will get answer as 6 the correct option in this case will be which though 6 cm option B will be the right one I hope you are getting this okay so the question number 7 here is in the figure BP and B, uh, BP and BQ are the tangents of a triangle so BP and BQ are the tangents with the center O O is center and this angle is 20 degree the one which is here is 20 degree you should find this angle P bq already you know that by uh, theorem bpq is twice it is twice the angle and it is a proof in the example sum so you should able to remember this so here 2 times 20 will be 40 degree so answer will be option a which is 40 degree this angle what you get is uh, this angle is half of this or this angle will be double so if I take this is theta this angle will be 2 theta and it is an example question in your textbook ok so I will just move on to question number 8 this question number 8 is direct ok you no need to uh, just uh, you should remember this formula the total surface area of the solid given in the figure so this is a cone ok and for uh, TSC of cone is uh, sorry they have asked total surface area that is TSC only so TSC of uh, cone is what pi r into r plus l is the right answer so it is option number c it, it is direct now we will move on to one liners ok so 8 questions of one liner questions will be discussing now find the HCF of 7 and 1 you 7 and 11 sorry so now you know that uh, 7 and 11 are 7 and 11 are what prime numbers so 
and if 7 and 11 are co-primes then HCF of prime numbers is what HCF of 7 and 11 will be 1 so the answer will be HCF is equal to 1 is the HCF is what HCF is equal to 1 is the right answer why we are writing 1 because there is no common factor between 7 and 1 and if there is no then the answer is 1 then next question how many solutions to a pair of linear equations has if the lines represent by them are coincident you already know that if the lines are coincident then they will be having infinitely many solutions so the correct answer is infinitely many solutions so they will be having infinitely many solutions okay if they are coincident now write the degree of polynomial x square plus 2 x cube minus 5 x raised to 4 plus uh, 6 so degree is nothing but the highest power of x so you can see the highest power of x in this case will be x raised to 4 so the correct answer will be degree is 4 okay now question number 12 i'll move on to question number 12 okay see in question number 12 find the discriminant of the quadratic equation so discriminant you should know that discriminant okay so discriminant of the quadratic equation they are asking you to solve so discriminant is written as discriminant delta is equal to b square minus 4 ac is called discriminant and the equation given here is what the equation given in this case is x square minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 so what are the a a is 1 b is minus 2 and c is minus 3 okay just substitute here you will get the answer so b is minus 2 the whole square 4 a is 1 c is minus 3 so if i just uh, it is 2 square 4 positive number then minus into minus plus 12 so it is uh, 16 it is greater than 0 therefore roots are real and distant since it is positive and greater than 0 the roots are real and distinct distinct okay so this one is the right answer i hope you are getting this question number 12 this question number 12 i have solved here okay i'll just move on to next question write the formula okay next question is the formula okay i'll just clear this so that i can have space to solve the next questions is next okay so now the next question here is write the formula okay so write the formula to find the volume of first term so question number 13 you should be able to write the formula of first term so first term formula is that too they have asked you to find the volume okay so volume of first term is 1 upon 3 pi h r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 so if you write this much you will get one mark so volume of first term is what 1 upon 3 pi h r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 now we will move on to question number 14 okay so let us begin on question number 14 so question number 14 reads like this if the probability of raining so the happening of event the probability of happening of event is 0.75 find the probability of not raining that means not happening so happening is they are asking and you already know that probability of happening of event plus probability of not happening of event is 1 mm, already you know it is 0 0.75 plus probability of not 85 is 1 so probability of not happening is equal to probability of 1 minus 0 0.75 so if you subtract 1 minus you will get 0 0.25 so the probability of not happening of event p of not e or e bar you can write e bar is nothing but see probability of e bar is nothing but probability of not e not e is 
probability of e bar okay i hope you got all this uh, questions up to 14 guys question number 14 next i will move on to question number 15 okay so question number 15 i will be solving now okay so question number 15 It reads like this: If the ratio of areas of two similar triangle is 64, so they have given area. Suppose you assume that there are two triangles A, A, B, A, B, C, and triangle D, E, F. So they have given area. So that is nothing but area of triangle A, B, C by area of triangle D, E, F is equal to. If the area is given, you should write corresponding side square. I can write AB square in this case divided by DE square. Okay, they are given area that is 64 by 121 is how much? It is 64 by 121 is uh, if I take root, if I take root here, thus directly I will get what AB by D. Okay. See, I have written 64 by 121. This square I have taken here, so that um, you will get root here. Already you know that yes, uh, root 64 is 8 and root 121 is 11. So the ratio of the corresponding sides here is 8 is to 11, or 8 by 11 is your answer. I hope you are getting this. Okay. Next. This question is belongs to the triangles and it is a direct question from the theorem. Okay. Now last uh, question in this uh, part is find the distance between. Okay. Find you should use directly distance formula here. So find the distance between. They are telling so distance formula is what root of yes x2 minus x1 the whole square. Plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. The first one is uh, sorry, but they have asked not this. They have directly asked the question from origin and the point. So when they use origin, so distance from origin is having this formula that is x square plus y square. Directly you can use this. G is equal to root of x square plus y square. So the first one is x and second one is y. If they give origin, distance from origin, if they give, you should use this formula. Now first one is three square plus four square root nine plus sixteen. So it is root twenty five. So root twenty five is five. So the distance between the two points is five here. And there are now. After this, there are eight questions of two marks each. These questions will be solved in the part two. Thank you for watching this.